Welcome to today's video, where we're going to cover the 10 worst foods that are absolutely destroying your health and your energy. Let's get into food number one. Number one, chips. Chips are the first food item. Many of us grew up on them, and we all adore them. The issue is that the chips are literally the living definition of empty calories, since they are made from low-quality potatoes that have been coated in inflammatory oils, deep-fried, and then salted. Basically, there isn't any nutritional value. These foods have a lot of calories, don't satisfy your hunger, and are loaded with unhealthy preservatives and other ingredients. If you consume three ounces of chips per week, this adds about 24,000 calories and around seven pounds of extra fat to your diet annually. You can replace them with some healthier versions of chips. For example, Siet, and there are some other brands you might find in your local grocery store. These chips are typically made with better kinds of flour, not potato, often almond or cassava flour, and they use avocado oil, which is a much healthier oil. So the next key is to make sure you actually eat a proper serving instead of just reaching your hand into that endless black hole of a bag and eating chips. Pour them into a little bit of a container and then put the bag away and then enjoy your chips. Little bit of salsa or something like that and other things you can do that to make apple chips. Slice some apples and put them in the dehydrator with a little cinnamon and salt on them are very good. Number two, non-organic bread. It just has to be the right kind. And the reason I can say this with such confidence that many people have lost hundreds of thousands of pounds and the majority of them have bread and sandwiches into their lives. But they're eating organic, sprouted bread. Typically a bread like Ezekiel bread, Dave's Killer Sprouted, or an organic sourdough. These are much better breads than organic because if you're eating non-organic bread, your bread is sprayed with a pesticide called glyphosate, which is also known as a Roundup, and this is toxic. It wrecks your gut microbiome, which is a known carcinogen causes fertility issues, neurologic issues, and it is everywhere. Flourless sprouts are so good you can have a sandwich. It's 35 grams of carbohydrates. It has some nice protein in there and you're good to go. And if you sprout your bread, most people can tolerate it better, and if you really are weed sensitive, you don't have to have bread at all, but you can also try an ancient wheat, like corn wheat, which is one of the oldest varieties of wheat that haven't been adulterated and stuff like that. A lot of people tolerate it really well if they have any kind of gluten sensitivities. Number three, baked goods, pastries, donuts, strudels, and similar baked treats. And you're probably thinking that it is unhealthy for me. Of course, however, I want you to know that why it's especially unhealthy. A baked good like this one often contains non-organic flour and low-quality vegetable oil, such as vegetable shortening with sugar, making it look bad already. The issue with many baked goods is that they also contain substances called bromides, which are created by the element bromide. It's kind of like a thing that makes it fluffier. The problem is that these bromides actually get into your thyroid gland. The gland in your neck that controls all your metabolism hormones, and it binds to that thyroid gland in the thyroid receptor, that normally needs iodine. Iodine makes thyroid hormone. Bromide blocks this whole process, so you have a more sluggish metabolism. You can experience fatigue if you're a woman, menstrual irregularities, hair issues, and just not feeling good at all. Bromate is one way these bromides hide in there, but there's also something called brominated vegetable oil, BVO, and this is found in a lot of soft drinks, citrus drinks, Gatorades, Powerades, and Mountain Dew still has it. Number four, pasta and cream sauce. I want to bring pasta in because I feel I should defend it a little bit. A lot of people have pasta on a weekly basis and still lose weight, but they're consuming healthier pastas, including those made with organic wheat, chickpeas, or brown rice pasta. They're getting a higher quality pasta and they're not loading it with a really high fat sauce. Alfredo has like 500 calories. Let's, to be honest, this stuff's so good you want to eat like six to seven cups of that, and your stomach hurts afterwards. So if you're going to have pasta, you absolutely want to go with a low sugar marinara sauce, something like a red sauce. I want you to look at the back of it and make sure it has less than four grams of sugar or no added sugars. Ideally organic, and this actually has a ton of health. These crushed tomatoes are high in vitamin A. They're high in this nutrient called lycopene, that's so good for our vision, guys, prostates, and it tastes really delicious. So a pasta with a red sauce, or maybe drizzle with some olive oil with a little salt. Now we're talking that's something you can have and incorporate into your diet, 
but get the cream sauces out. Anything that's really cream-based cheese is going to wreck your health long-term. Get that out. Still enjoy the kind of pasta with a red or a lighter sauce. Number five, fried fish and chicken. Fried chicken or fish, and actually just anything fried. Generally speaking, meat is a lower quality protein. Putting it typically in non-organic wheat and then dipping it in low quality oil at a high temperature and creating all these trans fats and others. Sardines that have omega-3s and in contrast, eating fried fish one or more times a week was associated with a 48% increased risk of heart failure. These top fried foods are toxic for your cardiovascular system. It has all these kinds of inflammatory fats that get into your arteries and then your body lays down, plaque, in response to the inflammation. And then over time, if you keep on doing this, you get atherosclerosis and you can have a heart attack. Number six, processed meats. Highly processed meats like hot dogs, sausages, and deli meats. One thing that all nutritionists agreed on is the negative health effects of processed meats. Raise your chance of colon cancer, a leading cause of death. This is because they have substances known as nitrites, nitrates in them that get into your digestive tract and they irritate the colon. Damaged DNA and colon cancer will completely change your life if you do not take care of it. You do not want to mess with that stuff, but they're also not great for your heart. A lot of these low quality meats honestly have like the worst parts of the animal, kind of like put together, plus they're often high in a bunch of salt, plus they're often high in very low quality saturated fats. So it's just like a recipe for disaster. So instead of hot dogs that are low quality, just have some ground beef, grass-fed steak. Get something that's less processed instead of a sausage. It turns out that getting an organic chicken sausage is better than the chicken or the white meat. It is better than the dark beef when it comes in the sauce sausage form in terms of like those salami or hard cold cuts. And eating something like turkey breast or chicken breast is going to be so much better for you, even though that's processed. But if you can cook an actual chicken breast and slice it, that's going to be the best option. Number seven, French fries. The next worst food on our list is French fries. Of course, these are bad for us, but I want you to know why. The reason is actually very similar to the reason why chips are bad. We cook potatoes on high heat in bad oils, which makes them extremely addictive. However, the science behind this is that when we take carbohydrates like potatoes and cook them on high heat in vegetable oils, creates a compound called acrylamide. These things are super toxic. As you age, you increase the risk of cancer. French fries are like the best source of acrylamides. If you want to kill yourself, eat French fries every single day. And here's the thing, if you're going to go out for fast food, eventually with your family, maybe you're into sports or doing some stuff, and you're on the go, you need to eat some food. The cool thing about this is you can still have that burger or whatever occasionally from a fast food or get the chicken sandwich even better. Just skip the fries, you can still enjoy yourself. And if you absolutely insist, you need to make them on your own sweet potato fries because they're actually much better for you than white potatoes. On a lot of reasons, including more nutrients and actually a completely different variety of plant. Number eight, too much dairy and ice cream. Now I want to talk about dairy because lump dairy in here as well. Dairy certain all kinds can have health benefits I'm talking about Greek yogurt, a fermented yogurt with probiotics like kefir, sheep's or a goat's cheese as a little sprinkle on a salad, but if you're crushing dairy on a daily basis, there are chances that you'll face some problems. A lot of people are allergic to the proteins in dairy because a lot of black people and Asian people truly are allergic to the milk, or we can't break down the milk lactose intolerance. But either way, dairy is a food that's pretty complex and cause a lot of problems. It can cause mucus production. It actually has a compound called beta-casomorphin. That is a natural opioid. And that's why when we eat dairy, we often feel good. It's because literally it got natural opioids that go into our central nervous system and make us feel a little happy, doped up and addicted. You can literally be addicted to dairy. So keep dairy as like a thing that happens occasionally. Number nine, highly processed plant-based foods. I firmly believe that you should increase the amount of plant-based foods in your diet. Perhaps you could prepare a power bowl with quinoa and avocado, similar to a vegetarian chili, a few hemp seeds, and various types of beans. That thing in there is amazing, but what isn't? Fantastic. There are a lot of these fake foods that are trying to be vegan, 
buffalo, chicken, vegan teriyaki. And what they're typically doing is either taking gluten-free protein or low-quality soy protein that's sprayed with all sorts of different terrible pesticides, mixing them with vegetables oil, with a bunch of binders, and fillers with food coloring, and putting in a package for you. There are many reasons why people eat plant-based. But if you're going to eat plant-based, you need to eat whole foods. Plant-based, not a lot of this crap. Because of the plant-based documentaries, people want to eat more. There's a lot of crap in these you don't necessarily want. To be having a bunch of canola oil with hydrolyzed pea protein with food colorings in there, so on occasion, sure. But if you're going to have burgers plant-based all the time, gets a high-quality organic black bean burger that's probably going to be a lot better for you. And if you do want to have more plant-based proteins, make bomb vegetarian chili. Get a bunch of different black beans, tomatoes, spices, and throw all that stuff in there. Delicious super good if you want to throw a little shredded cheese on top. It's a really good meal high in protein without needing meat. Non-organic tofu is sprayed with a different kind of pesticide called atrazine that actually interfaces with the hormone receptors, disrupts hormones, and causes a lot of problems. You don't want that in your body either, just like the non-organic wheat, so better plant-based foods for your health. Number 10. High Sugar Fruit Drinks the last worst food on our list are these fake, healthy, high-sugar fruit drinks. All these different kinds of drinks that look healthy, and they say tons of vitamins. Tons of these things are glorified sugar shots if you look at the ingredients. They always have a bunch of these few fruit purees, mango pureed, orange juice, and apple puree. It's loaded with 30 to 40 grams of sugar. Fruit can be okay in your diet if you're eating whole fruit. When you eat whole fruit, it's coming with the water, fiber, fresh vitamins, and minerals. They have tons of beneficial compounds in them, and one of those, for example, is eating blueberries. Although it has some sugar, it also has fiber and vitamins that actually increase your genes that help you burn more fat. So, fruit can be good, but don't get these fruit drinks. Get them out now. Here's an exception if you're someone who likes to juice, and what this means is that you have a good juicer and you're making a solid juice. It's like apples, carrots, and celery, ginger juice that has health benefits, but that's fresh juice from good produce, not something that's been sitting in a can that's loaded up with some kind of recipe from some kind of corporation that's real food just in. Enjoy this video, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel for more informative video like this. Thank you so much for watching. Your wellness is our mission.